Hello. Today, I'm going to introduce you to a new add-in for O365 Outlook called Find Time. It is a scheduling option that you may use if you're trying to compile multiple calendars and attendees. It is a way that you can get additional feedback from those attendees so you can secure meeting times to better fit your day and their day. I'm going to walk you through this process of how you can use the Find Time feature. First, we will start by opening up a new email. In this email, you'll see in the upper corner is a new meeting poll, find time feature. Click on it. It's going to open up a menu. The menu is going to walk through your step-by-step -step paths to set this meeting in find time. To start, we need to assign an attendee. Anyone in the to field is a required attendee. Anyone in the CC field is an optional attendee. After you assign the necessary attendees, you will see a meeting poll in the side panel. It is giving you the open availabilities per your Outlook calendar. At this time, you may select any amount of time slots. Before we get started with that, we want to set the duration of the meeting. It gives you many different options to choose from. I'm going to choose a 30 minute option for this. I'm going to select multiple times. And then I'm going to click Next. It is reviewing these times before it inserts it into the email. At this point in time, you also have the ability to tweak the settings. Notifications will prompt you when you send the invite and when people respond to the invite. Holds will lock that time out in your Outlook calendar. Auto schedule will schedule the meeting once everyone votes. If everyone votes on the same time, it will apply it to your calendar and then remove the other holds for your meeting. I am now going to insert this into my email. Before I send the email, it is important to notate that you should put a subject heading in the Find Time feature. This subject heading, once the meeting is scheduled, will be the title of the meeting on your Outlook calendar. Now that I have my subject matter, I can go ahead and send out my email to my meeting. After you send it out, you do have a find time notification. After opening it, you will see it's confirming that you did send an invite out with this subject matter. You will also receive status updates and times in your email as well. As you see, I have more notifications. The person that I did send this email to has now voted. Secondly, my meeting has been finalized. Let's take a look. As you see after the voting, Stephanie has decided that her favorite time to meet would be 10 a.m. on Friday. She's also available 10.30. She is not available at 11. Because of this, it has finalized my meeting based on her time suggested. For the sake of this video, I'm going to verify with my Outlook calendar that the meeting is there. As you see right here, this is the meeting that I did set with Stephanie to speak about the find time feature. I hope this helps you and makes life easier in scheduling find time meetings. Thank you.